let's make things difficult on myself and record this in 4K. Although, if I don't have to edit this, then we'll probably... Welcome to my update video. Um, I'm only releasing this for a couple of reasons. And that's one that, like, I still get questions about my update or my setup. Update to my setup. What everything looks like and kind of how everything is. Because I made a video on my channel a while ago about, you know, this setup right here and getting it all working and all that. But recently, I added that monitor, which is is funny because the, the video was titled Six Monitor Setup, and as a joke, I... <laughs> As a joke, I taped an iPhone 6 to the empty slot, and that was sort of an inside joke. One of the members on our server, SIG, suggested we do that just because it'd be funny. But I did it just because the whole point of that video was that I had the five monitors, and that there wasn't really space, I don't know why I walked over here, with that cabinet for a six monitor. And I really, really took to the vertical monitor, and I think it's great. In fact, I wanted to keep this, like, as bare as usual, even though I left that video on. Just to show you that, like, this is just sort of how it normally looks. Um, I recently installed a program for the invisible taskbar. I think it looks pretty cool. I thought about that on accident because I updated my drivers and it got rid of it. And I was like, damn, that's kind of cool. I wonder if I can... I'll link the program below if you're curious. But I left Discord open just because it's pretty much always open. And to be able to see all of that is is really, really nice on a vertical monitor. And... I mean, when you've got five monitors, you really don't need another panel, but let's talk about this. So, before anybody, you know, jumps into the comments and tells me I'm an idiot or whatever, you need to understand, I already had the monitor. It was just sitting on the table doing nothing. Not even plugged in at all. To get the five monitors plugged in, I already had the second graphics card. I've got 1080 and 1060. So like the port <laughs> it was already open. The only thing I needed was a display port cable. And that's part of the reason that I never I never set it up was not only did I not have space and I liked the vertical monitor, but I, I actually didn't have enough cabling. When I made this video or even before I made the video, but when I when I made this setup uh, in person, when I when I bought everything and figured it all out, I was 100% under the impression that I had a spare DisplayPort cable, and I don't honestly. I, I looked through this a million times, and I didn't have a I didn't have a DisplayPort cable. So what I did was I well bought one on Amazon, pretty easy, just you know, free Prime, and then <laughs> got it here. And now I can probably yeah just barely show this. You got um, two display ports, or two DVIs right here, and then one of these is HDMI and one of these is display port. This is all in my GTX 1060, 3 gigabyte WinForce, gig, gigabyte the brand, and 3 gigabyte RAM, um, in case anybody's curious. Now we got an MSI Armor 1080, which has, uh, I'm going to look there for you, DVI and a couple of display ports open, but it's using an HDMI and a, and a display port, which... Gives me a lot of comfort knowing that four out of the six monitors are plugged into a 1060 because all of the gaming I do is on a 1080. So, yeah. And then what that translates to is everything is on the 1060 except for these two right here. And that's because OBS is really annoying. I don't know why. I'm not even going to get into it. But uh, it only can capture the two displays on the graphics card that's not rendering the video i don't know because i use my 1060 to encode that's part of the reason that i kind of liked this upgrade to having two two uh, graphics cards but whenever i plug in like i can only capture what's connected to my 1080 not my 1060 and that when i when i moved it to my vertical monitor i thought i was being clever i was thinking you know i'm gonna have the two monitors plugged in my 1080 be the essential one for gaming and the one that uses the least uh the, the least resources, which is basically just a static image. I mean, most of that Discord screen does not change very often. I mean, yeah, sure, I use the display. You know, I can click around. I'm, well, I guess Gaming Talk's probably pretty clean. I, there's just a, a couple of channels here that you don't want to click when you're going to be putting a video on YouTube. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it that, at that. They're NSFW. But the point is, um, I, I thought I was being clever, but OBS... You know, a vertical monitor on a stream looks really, uh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So, 
I, I just bought an extra cable and I, I finally plugged this in. And a part of this is because, yeah, my friends scoffed at me saying first world problems, but I usually eat just over here. I've got these towels and you can see the crumbs on them. I, I use them basically as a coaster because I don't want a bunch of crumbs on my wooden desk here. Um, so I, I, I use these just for like, uh, you know, drinks as well. That's a nice little life hack for you. A lot of people use coasters, but if you can bear the sight of just a, a washcloth, <laughs> I use it just because the condensation just gets soaked up and I don't drip on myself. So in the summer times, that is uh, definitely a problem. But when I'm eating, like, it's nice to just have a monitor right in my face and, you know, not way over here. It, it honestly, like, it, yeah, it's a first world problem. But as I said, right when I started, I already had the monitor. You guys, this was basically free for me to do this, um, just because I had the space already. And it's not free, I mean, I bought the monitor, but it was years ago, I've gotten my use out of it. And uh, behind our little guy here, I actually scratched it. In the in the monitor upgrade, those three little lines are actual scratches, which is, it's not a big deal. The monitor's usable and it's just fine. It's like, oh, uh, such a bummer. But, you know, it's not really a problem. This is identical to that one, they're, they're the same same brand. Everything will be linked below anyway. Um, and then to demonstrate kind of a question I get a lot, which isn't something I've had trouble explaining before, but now I feel like I can show you pretty easily. What do I use all this space for? So if I open that and open that and open that, that, uh, that doesn't really need to be open, but it'll go up over there. And then we can open that one as well. And then Minecraft just to demonstrate. When I'm streaming is when I use the most space. So you can see there's a bit of extra space up here, and that's just because I kind of like to be focused on chat. I just have, you know, Streamlabs for people who subscribe and donate and whatever. Um, and then I've got chat for my stream. I'm not actually live. That's somebody else's stream. And then I also not my stream. Usually have my stream open over here just so I can see the viewers and how many people liked it. OBS because I want to see my own broadcast. And then if I'm playing Fortnite... I'll have like the missions on Storm Shield 1 available. So you don't need to know the game to know that like it's good to know what's going on in the game that you're playing. Obviously, this is just an extra monitor. This will very likely not be used at all when I'm not like gaming or anything. But you know, when I'm eating, it's it's kind of nice. And when I'm sitting right here, there's a whole lot of monitors on my right eye and one thin one on my left eye. So this really does balance things out. Without like a wide angle lens or without sitting in my chair, it's kind of hard to tell the the benefit of that but it just kind of it's nice for me personally and um and then finally of course i have my game in the middle which currently is minecraft just because i don't know i wanted you guys to i don't know why it was really arbitrary i really did just want a game in that spot and that's basically it um that's that's pretty much it's pretty much my upgrade a um, little bit of an update to the setup if you guys haven't seen the old video, which I will link below because there's a whole lot more to that video than what I'm showing you here today, like me setting it up and a lot of before and after footage. And, um, and yeah, oh, I should also, I was going to say this right in the beginning, but I forgot about it. This is a deflated Valentine's gift from the lady friend. This is just, she put this up here as a joke and I was like, I'm going to keep it and now it now it's just there. So um um thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed, like the video, subscribe, and uh thanks uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.